just a brief notice, whatever, something. I will be at the ESO ECA Pro League Finals uh, at the actual event in Cologne. And uh, therefore, I won't really be making any videos. But if requested, I guess I could, you know, record some footage from the actual event and make some sort of video where I, you know, possibly meet some of the players. I'm hoping that uh, Dupree will kind of introduce me to some of the TSM players and that could be quite fun. But anyway, thank you so much for watching the video so far. And uh, yeah, hope you can use this video for anything. It's very long and sorry for that. But yeah, thanks, I guess. <laughs> Okay, take number 1,387,000 and whatever the fuck. Uh, I've tried this so many times now and I just keep failing, but I want this to be good. I want this to be perfect because this is going to be a... It's going to be a very helpful video for you guys and that's uh, the most important thing. Now, apologies if you hear any background noise. I've got my window open. I need some fresh air. It's freaking hot in Denmark and uh, that's how that shit works. Now, breaking bad habits in CSGO. First of all, something you need to bear in mind is if you want to fix your bad habits, you need to actively try to do so. Bad habits are called bad habits because they, well, they, they're not called that because of that, but bad habits are pretty much the things that do not fix themselves. It's not like movement where you can have bad movement. That's not a bad habit. Bad movement is something you need to improve. Bad habits is something that you keep doing wrong. And which is not going to fix itself if you do not actively try to do so. Now, I've written down a lot of bad habits. And we're going to be trying to go through these. These are examples for bad habits. And then I'm going to try to tell you how you can fix them. Now, um, I've scouted the internet. And the most common ones seem to be crouch spraying. Reloading early on bad situations. Quick switching weapons. Or, well, switching weapons constantly. Bunny hopping everywhere. Stoning out mentally. Hunting kills, which ultimately makes you lose the round. Not staying calm, I've added this myself, and I've also added bad grenade usage, and that is probably the, the key one that I'll save for last. Now, as you can probably tell, I've tried this so many on so many walls, but I want to show you this again. Why is Crouch Spring bad? I think a lot of people have carried over from Source or 1.6 that, um, you know, you get more accurate by crouching while spraying. I do believe this was the case in the other games, correct me if I'm wrong, because I might be. But in CSGO, that is not the case. So, if we spray at a wall with the AK, we only had 11 bullets. But if we if we spray at a wall with an AK, the spray pattern is pretty much the same every single time. Now, if we crouch spray with an AK, the spray pattern is pretty much the same. And now, because of too many decals, it removes itself. That's brilliant. As you can see here, I have tested it, and it works. You can try it yourself if uh, need be. Now... Crouch spraying is in some situations really good because you yourself become a smaller target, but you also get less mobile. And if you get less mobile and you do not hit your opponent and kill him instantly, he will be able to use his AD and D mo well AD AD movement to just tap your head like this. So crouch spraying is something you want to get rid of. It is situational and in some situations is really good. But a lot of people tend to do it in every single fucking situation, which is not good. This is not healthy. Now, this is kind of paired up with reloading early and not being able to conserve ammo. So, how do you practice this? How do you get rid of this bad habit? And uh, I've kind of got this from a Danish um, kind of new site for esports that is called gaming.dk. I used this back in source when they were close to no tutorials on the uh, internet to find and it was a written tutorial from a guy called Slam I do believe who used to be a kind of top Danish player now he said that if you want to be better at conserving ammo and not reloading early what you need to do is you need to unbind the reload button and actually play like this for some time what I did was I used a whole week on actually playing without being able to reload the only ability well the only situation where you can actually reload is if you shoot out all your bullets and it will automatically reload. Now, this is also something that you can use uh, for crouch spraying. For example, playing deathmatch. And uh, a lot of people will probably spray pretty much every time they see an opponent. But if you want to actively try to get rid of this bad habit, what you can do is, if you've got it on control, at least where I've got uh, the dock binded, you write unbind control. This disables you from actually crouching, which in some situations, especially if you want to get up on this box, for example, you need to crouch jump. That means that you are going to be limited in your abilities, not only in shooting, but also in um, jumps, which can be, you know, it's a big kind of downfall, but it will, in the long term, 
possibly help you get rid of this bad habit. So instead of every time you see an opponent, you're going to be crouching and spraying, what you're now going to be doing is you can spray small bursts and move. And in between sprays or bursts, move like this. This makes you move a lot more when you spray, which is really, really good. But it also makes you get rid of this bad habit and makes crouch spraying situational instead of making it something that you do every single time. Now, quick switching weapons, this is something that I've got a lot of uh, problems with. Running and just switching weapons all the time because it's fun. It's something that when you don't see any action, you can kind of entertain yourself by just quick switching weapons. This means that you're not focused if an opponent pops up and also you will not be able to shoot if an opponent by some like in some weird instance surprises you by being in a spot that you didn't think was possible so what you can do is you can unbind Q which is what I use to quick switch and all of a sudden you can't quick switch anymore this way you kinda learn to have your weapons out in the right situations instead of running around quick switching wep your weapons all the time and you can obviously still cycle through your weapons by using the numbers on your keyboard so this is good I've also written down bunny hopping everywhere, people that just try to bunny hop down around corners or just are not focused on any enemies, potential enemies, being around corners. This is a big issue as this also gets you killed a lot and um, if you like me is bunny jumping on mouse wheel, down or up or whatever, you could unwind this and instead only have jump on space so that you can still jump up on boxes or whenever you need to jump. but not really be as good at bunny hopping and will make it, you know, less fun, I guess you could say, because you'll be failing all the time. And this way you will kind of force yourself to get rid of these bad habits. Okay. Now, I kind of swiftly touched reloading um, in bad situations, but the reason why I've saved this for now is because this is kind of more a game sense aspect that you need to get down. This is something that you need to learn by playing more. It's still a bad habit, but the only reason you can really get out of this bad habit is by playing more and finding out when you should reload and when you should not. For example, if you're battling a guy on short, you've got 22 bullets left. 22 bullets is more than enough to get more kills. But if you start reloading, like a lot of players do at the lower ranks, if another guy pops out, you're going to be dead. And it will get you killed in a lot of situations. But this is something that you learn by getting better game sense. Now, if you've got a bad habit of zoning out mentally, for example, covering an angle like this, and you're just standing and waiting, I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but I remember hearing or, or reading about something with reaction time being slower if you're just sat and kind of like focusing on the same thing uh you know, for an elongated period of time. So if you're just standing here watching this corner, what might happen is that your reaction time will be slower, and we combine that with the Pika's advantage that is in CSGO, this might get really tricky. So what you can do, and what I like to do, is just jiggle like this, because you need to constantly move your aim to make sure that you still have it, like, have the crosshair placement in the right um, place, which is about here, you know. So you need, to, you need to constantly move your mouse to make sure that you've got your crosshair on the right spot, even though you're moving. So this way, your brain will constantly be, uh, well, exercised, and therefore your reaction speed will be faster. At least this is what works for me. Um, so this is how to kind of break out of zoning out mentally when covering an angle. Now, hunting kills, which ultimately makes you lose the round. I talked about you having to actively try to get out of these bad habits or getting rid of these bad habits. So if you end up in a situation where you know you can hunt a kill, but it's maybe not such a good idea. I mean, you need to, to have the game sense down to know that it's not a good idea, but then don't. Just teach yourself to not hunt kills if it's not viable. If it doesn't help your team, don't hunt kills. The same with, um, you know, not staying calm. If you want to get better at staying calm, you need to actively do so. I've got a video that teaches you how to practice staying calm, but you need to actually, uh, well, actively try to stay calm. Now, for me, if I feel like I've got issues with staying calm, I would go into matchmaking, I'll go into ECA, I'll go into face it, whichever place that works for me, and I will make it my sole purpose in that game to actually just try to stay calm. 
Now, if I succeed on staying calm, I still get a feeling that I've done what I, you know, had set in mind. If you go into game wanting to 30 bomb, that's okay. If you then do 30 bomb, you get a nice feeling inside. You've accomplished your goal. If your goal is to stay calm, and you stay calm throughout the whole game, you still get that feeling, that feeling that, you know, the rewarding feeling of you actually accomplishing your goal. So, this is a way to actively try to stay calm. And if you do this on occasion, or when you feel you are not calm enough, this will help you tremendously. Now, the last one, the last topic, bad grenade usage. This is also about game sense, but this is just... This is just a plea, in a sense, to anybody DMG or lower, because I feel this is probably where it's the biggest, it's the biggest issue. If you are in a clutch situation, start actively trying to ask yourself questions. Can I actually utilize these grenades in a way so that I get into a better situation? Is it wise to use a grenade, or should I save it? Because if you ask yourself those two questions, you will become such a, well, a much better player, in my opinion. And I'll probably, well, I, I might do a whole video about this uh, if requested. But what I find to be one of the biggest issues of lesser skilled players is that if they're in a clutch situation and they've got nades, I, I can't tell you the amount of times I've seen someone play this exact position, possibly. He's got a smoke. Let me just give myself a smoke grenade. This apparently doesn't work. Great stuff. Okay. Um, if he's got a smoke grenade, what he will possibly do is he'll smoke off here. Then he will sit and have two flashes. Now I can't sit because I've unbound, uh, like I unbound control, I guess it's called. But he will then flash twice up in the air, straight up in the air, with no purpose, without knowing where anybody is. Then he will nade down here without knowing where anybody is. And then he's used all his grenades. Not only has he used time, which he could have used to maybe take a better position, or trying to find out where people are actually coming from, but he's also used the grenades in a way that totally gives away his position for absolutely no payout. Smoking off this area is a good idea. Flashing up in the air, straight up in the air, has no purpose whatsoever. Because if anybody is coming from long, they're not going to be blinded for long, and now they're going to know where you are. The HD grenade, you don't know if there's even anybody down here. So, why would you waste the nade when you could find out a position and then use the grenade to full effect? This is... Uh, I, a bad habit, I would say. It's also the fact that they don't have the game sense, but if you ask yourself these questions uh, throughout a round, like, is it smart to use this grenade? I think you will become a much better player. I think that was kind of a bit off topic in a sense, but it is so important, and I might do a whole video about this because, like, it is key, and it is what separates the, the, the men from the boys. Now, this might be constant rambling, and this might not be what you were looking for when trying to fix your bad habits. But what I was trying to do is I was trying to give you examples of bad habits and then give you examples of how to fix them. So if you yourself have a bad habit, maybe your bad habit is that you take, well, you go on too many space travels in Cisco. Unlikely. But if it is, then maybe through my examples of how to fix these other bad habits or like getting rid of them, Maybe you yourself will have a better chance of finding uh, a way to actually get rid of whichever bad habit that you've got. And maybe I have made you realize that if you have got a bad habit, you need to act actively try to get rid of it. Because if not, it'll never go away. Now, uh, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed the video, guys. Please do a like and a comment and subscribe if you haven't. My name is Nato Safix, and I will see you in the next video. Bye 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 bye.